When CPS energy bills arrive to customers this week, they should not include additional fuel or purchase power charges from the winter storm. Officials with CPS Energy say the utility is currently assessing the validity of the additional fuel and purchase power costs from the winter storm and is currently not passing them through to customers. Bear County's chief medical examiner is asking the county for help as her office has been inundated with cases as a result of the pandemic. Dr. Kimberly Molina says the facility is in need of more employees and more space. The agency has 56 people on staff who investigated 16,000 cases last year. Former USAA CEO Stuart Parker was paid well after leaving the company last year. Parker received at least $6.5 million in severance payments. The Golden Parachute accounted for more than half of the $11.3 million in total compensation five USAA insurance companies paid him last year. Parker led USAA for almost five years.